Give her your undivided attention when she's talking to you. When your wife offers an opinion about something, don't follow up with your opinion about her opinion. Yeah. Never argue for your limitations. In other words, if you say or do something and your wife is upset with you, don't use the excuse, well, I couldn't help it. It was one of my autistic traits. No. On your wedding anniversary, be sure to acknowledge it by getting her a card, some flowers, and taking her out to eat at McDonald's. Or, no, scratch that. Taking her out to eat at Red Lobster. Okay? Yeah. Hey, come here. Come here. Tell your wife that you love her. Yeah, yeah, tell her that you love her. A couple times a week, every other day, something like that. And if you think you'll forget, you set yourself an alarm on your watch. Oh, shit. It's time for me to do it. Uh, okay, you got this, right? Okay, I got to go. Psst. Psst. Come here. Come here. <clears throat> when you get home after a long day of work and you walk through the front door, try to find your wife and say hi. Yeah, first thing, locate her and say hi. How was your day or hello or greetings or salutations, something like that. Okay, instead of going straight to the computer room. Yeah, you can do this. Hey, come here for a minute. The next time your wife goes to all the trouble of getting dressed up and putting makeup on, compliment her. Yeah, compliment her. Hair looks nice, your dress looks pretty, your perfume smells good, your butt looks small, you know, something like that, okay? You got this, right? You got it, you got it. Hey, come here. Okay, it's a little too close, back off. Um, listen remember everybody's birthdays yeah your wife and the kids remember their birthdays and how old they are and the year they were born remember all of those things dates super important super important yeah. remember Hey, when you're at family gatherings, you know, like Christmas, Thanksgiving and whatnot, instead of just saying hi and then going into the other end of the house and playing on your phone, stay there where the people are and engage in idle chit chat. Engage in idle chit chat. Chit chat, yeah. I, yeah, I know it's boring, yeah, but it's a hidden rule, man. You can do it, you got this. Right? Hey, come here. Whenever you're really mad at your wife, even though for a very good reason, don't cuss at her. You don't want to call her a hmm, or a hmm, or even a hmm, hmm. No, we don't want that. Cussing at your wife, even in the heat of the moment, Here she comes. Act normal. Don't you dare tell her what I just said, okay? I don't want her to think we were talking about her. Hi. Hey, come here. You know, when your wife wants to punk you up and be real critical of you, just let her have it. Put her in her place. Can't let females run over you like that. I just went off on my wife this morning. I put her in her place. 
Yeah. Huh? What am I doing out in the garage? Uh, well, about that. <clears throat> I'll probably be spending the night here. Probably right there. What? Well, it's better sleeping in the backyard. You know, this whole idea about standing up to her and putting her in her place, maybe scratch that idea. I don't think it's working. Hey, come here. Don't talk incessantly about your special interest to anybody other than people who have that same special interest. Yeah. Your wife doesn't care about video games or Civil War history or how to make an app. You got this? You got it. Hey, uh, when your wife is driving and you're over there in the passenger seat like you are now, and you're going to a particular destination, don't tell her you took the long way around, right? Don't tell her that. Okay, so, shh, hidden world. Hey, Psst, come here. The next time your wife is watching TV over there sitting on the couch, Go sit down beside her. Yeah, she's in the living room watching TV, sitting on the couch. Sit down beside her instead of at the other end of the room in your easy chair. You could sit down beside her and put your hand on her knee, or you could put your arm around her shoulder and sit there with her for a while, right next, right next to her. <laughs> Ten minutes, something like that. Watch whatever shows she's watching. Golden Girls, Jeopardy, something like that. Okay. Come here, come here. The next time you use the toilet and you get done with your business and there's not much toilet paper left, be sure to put a new roll on the dispenser. Because if you don't and your wife sits down to use the bathroom, she looks over and there's only three inches of toilet paper left, That's a problem, so be sure to leave her some toilet paper. It's a hidden rule. Okay, guys, I got another hidden rule for you. Every once in a while, spend the entire day with your wife. Yeah, spend the entire day with your wife without engaging in your special interest. Hello? Is this microphone working? Testing, one, two, three, testing. Yeah, I said, every once in a while, spend the entire day with your wife without engaging in your special interest. <laughs> Hello? Hey, come here. Come here. Sometimes in the evening, when you get home from work, it's good to just spend time with your wife instead of playing on your cell phone or your computer. It, wait a minute. Hear me out. Don't say no just yet. I'm not saying every day. Just maybe once a week or so instead of coming home, playing on your phone or your computer. Just spend the evening with your wife. Hey, listen. $10 says you can do it. What do you mean no? Okay. $20. $20 says you can do it. You got this. Okay, 50, final offer. Okay, hey, where are you going? Hey, hey, come here. Every once in a while, buy your wife a little gift. Yeah, maybe every week or every other week, just buy her a little gift. Something that lets her know you were thinking about her. Yeah. That's the whole point. Doesn't have to be expensive. Just a little something that she will know. Oh, that was awful nice. He would happen to be thinking about me. I don't know. Card, a little box of candy, maybe a flower, a new toilet plunger, ice scraper, you know, something sentimental. Yeah. 
anything like that would be great. You get this, right? Hey, hey, come here, come here. Every once in a while, tell your wife that you appreciate her, that you appreciate her. Yeah, they call it words of affirmation or something like that. It makes her feel valued, like she's important to you. Yeah. I don't know. Thanks for changing the litter box, or I appreciate the liver and onions that you made last night. Something like that. Hey. Hey. Yeah, you. Come here. Every once in a while, do one of your wife's chores. Yeah. The chores that she would ordinarily do. You do them every once in a while. I don't know, a few times a week, something like that. Take out the trash, wash the dishes, fix some of the loose shingles on the roof. You know, stuff that she ordinarily gets stuck doing. You do them. Okay, you got it, right? Hey, come here for a minute. Come here. This Christmas, go all out and get your wife something really, really nice. Yeah, really drop some bucks. Yeah, let her know, I love you so much, I'm willing to spend all this money for you. Yeah, shock her. I don't know, new car, new vacuum cleaner, anything that's really nice. Hey, come here for a minute. Come here for a minute. Every once in a while, spend some quality time with your wife. Quality time. What? It's where you spend time with her talking about stuff that she wants to talk about. Well, it, I know it might be boring, but that's quality time. It's one of the love languages, quality time. So do that every once in a while or pretend like you're doing it. Are you getting this? Spends quality time with her every once in a while where you're talking about things that she wants to talk about. Hello? Testing, testing. Did you get that? Is this thing even working? When your wife wants to talk about how she feels, be sure to listen to it. Yeah. Listen to how she feels. When she's talking about her emotions, like I'm mad, sad, glad, happy, uh, feeling stressed, those types of things. You want to listen to them. And you could say, oh, I'm sorry you feel that way. What can I do to help? There's your line. I'm sorry you feel that way. What can I do to help? Yeah. It's called empathy. Yeah, empathy. She would like that. And it's a hidden social rule to empathize. Hey, come here. Come here for a minute. Don't go out on lunch dates or dinner dates with female coworkers or ex-girlfriends. Yeah. Like if you're at work and you go out to lunch with a female coworker or you bump into a girlfriend somewhere from the past and the, you guys go have coffee somewhere, makes your wife very insecure. Yeah. Just don't do that. It's a hidden rule. And if your wife catches you doing that and she smacks the shit out of you, that's okay. Because that's a hidden rule too. So be careful. Hey. Hey, you. Come here. Stop what you're doing and order your wife some flowers for delivery. Yeah. Get online, wherever you're located, and order her some flowers for delivery. If she's at home right now and you're at work... Send them to the house. If you're at work and she's at work, send them, send it to her place of employment. 
It's called a random act of kindness. Random act of kindness. Yeah, I know it's not a holiday. No, it's not your anniversary or Valentine's Day, but it's random act of kindness. It doesn't have to be a particular holiday. Well, it lets her know that you were thinking about her. That's the whole point. Yeah. So stop what you're doing. Get online. Order her some flowers for delivery. Yeah. You get this, right? Hidden rule. The next time you and your wife go to the store, when you're walking from the car into the store, hold her hand. Yeah, just reach over and hold her hand as you walk into the store. Physical touch, super important. And then when you're in the store and you're done shopping and you're waiting, standing in line, slip around behind her and massage her shoulders. Yeah, the trapezius muscle, both hands come around behind her and massage your shoulders for, wow, I don't know, 20, 30 seconds, something like that. Physical touch, man. So it'll release endorphins in her brain and it'll calm her down. And then the guy behind you might see you doing it and then he would massage her white shoulders too. And then the guy behind him might do it. So physical touch, super important. Yeah, you got this, right? Hey, hey, come here. Listen, Tuesday is Valentine's Day. This Tuesday, Valentine's Day. Get your wife a card and some flowers. No candy. Card and flowers. In fact, when you get off this video here, log it in your to-do list. And maybe even get the flower and card later today so you don't forget. So, again, you only got four days. Valentine's Day. And if you don't follow through with some kind of little gift on Valentine's Day. Psst, hey, come here. Yeah, you, come here. Hey, the next time your wife gets all dolled up, you know what? dresses up nice, puts makeup on, has her hair done because you guys are going to go out to dinner or something. When you see her after she's been all dolled up, you say, oh my God, you look so sexy. Hello? I know that shocked your brain a minute there, didn't it? Yeah. Let me repeat this. Listen, the next time your wife gets all dolled up, dressed up, makeup, hair done, when you see her, right before you go out to eat or some party or whatever, you say, oh my God, you look so sexy. So how many words is that? Oh my God, you look so sexy. Seven words. Repeat after me. Let's practice. One, two, three. Oh my God, you look so sexy. And you have to look surprised. Okay, we're going to practice one more time. Okay, ready? On the count of three. One, two two, three. Oh my God, you look so sexy. You got this, right? Okay. You may want to rehearse in the mirror a few times. Hey, come here. You know, I've been doing these little videos about hidden rules for husbands on the autism spectrum. <clears throat> well, some of the NT wives are going, well, how come we don't get any hidden rules? Okay, you want some hidden rules? Okay, well, here's one. When he's driving and you're upset with him and getting all angry and verbal, kind of throw him into a meltdown while he's driving on the interstate with the kids in the back seat. You want a hidden rule? Yeah, don't do that. He could accidentally kill the whole family. Hey, come here. Tell your wife that you love her. Yeah, tell her you love her. Every other day, a couple times a week. Yeah. If you forget, you can uh, set a timer on your. <laughs>